For pull loading exports, you'll need to do more than just measure and trace wires across your job. You will also need nested heights to place wires on insulators and arms. Once your models have been set up correctly, you can add insulators and arms by using the one-click menu. Choose an insulator or arm, then select the spec from the dropdown. Now drag and drop your wire onto your insulator, and if necessary, your insulator onto your arm. We can also set your one-click menu to include common routines, such as a single primary on a pin insulator. A properly measured framing unit will have a wire nested inside an insulator, nested inside an arm. When tracing nested wires, the level that you click will be the level that gets placed on your next pole. If you click the cross arm when tracing three primaries with pin insulators, when you click the bolt on the next pole, an identical cross arm and insulators will be placed as well. If you only trace the insulator, you will only place a primary housed in that type of insulator on the next pole. To remove a wire from an insulator or an insulator from an arm, select the item you'd like to remove, then press the Remove button. Depending on your export and scope, you may also need to place COM insulators, messengers, and more. After you finish measuring all of your nested heights, there's still one more step before you're ready to export your data. Press the wrench icon in the lower left of your pull photo to run through your hardware details routine. This routine is highly customized and involves using multiple tools to enter power specs, calculate equipment bearings, link down guys, and much more. When you're done with hardware details, you can download your pull data for loading analysis. 